How to Trust Yourself and Build Real Self-Confidence Self-confidence is the foundation of all great success and achievement. Brian Tracy With self-confidence, you can overcome any obstacle and face any challenge that comes your way. But finding that self-confidence is often easier said than done. It can often be difficult for people to find the level of self-confidence they need to improve their lives. The good news is that you can build your self-confidence by learning to trust yourself. In this video, you'll learn what self-trust and self-confidence are and why they are important. And then you'll be given five strategies to build both self-trust and self-confidence so you can achieve personal and professional success. What is self-trust and self-confidence? Self-trust is your relationship with yourself. It relates to how much you trust yourself and your inner voice. With higher levels of self-trust, you'll feel less anxious and more at peace. If you have higher levels of self-trust, you'll feel more confident in your life decisions and choices. You'll have healthier relationships and often have higher levels of emotional intelligence while being more comfortable in your own skin. Self-confidence is your attitude, or literally your confidence about your abilities, qualities, and judgment. It is your attitude about yourself and your capabilities. With a strong sense of self-confidence, you are not worried about other people's opinions because you have a deep understanding of who you are and what you stand for, with a clearly defined set of core values. With self-confidence, you know you are valuable and worthy and accept yourself as you are, both your strengths and faults together. While they may sound similar, self-trust and self-confidence are different things that relate to each other. They are both important for finding success in life. Ways to Learn to Trust Yourself While it may take time, there are many ways to increase the trust you have in yourself. Here are five strategies to learn to trust yourself and build your self-confidence. Practice Self-Compassion The first strategy is to be kind to yourself and practice self-compassion. Many people have a loud inner critic that manages to slip into their thoughts and beliefs. This inner critic may use negative language and untrue self-talk to make you feel bad about yourself or about what you have or have not accomplished. If you have this inner critic, it is important to find a way to silence this voice as it will take away from your self-confidence. One of the best ways to flip the script of the negative inner critic is to use positive self-talk. To do this, carefully evaluate your thoughts as you have them. Ask yourself if the thoughts are true or if it is the voice of the negative inner critic popping up. If you notice negative language or phrasing, rephrase it in a more positive light and in a way that is more compassionate to yourself. The more compassionate you are with yourself, acknowledging your flaws but also recognizing what you have accomplished, the more you will allow your true self to shine. Embrace vulnerability. The second strategy is to embrace your vulnerability. We are all human and we all make mistakes. This is normal and should not make you lose trust in yourself. By embracing your vulnerability, and giving yourself the grace to make mistakes and learn from them, you can start to build more trust in yourself. Practice this vulnerability with others and with yourself. While it's not always comfortable to show your vulnerable side because it may involve showing difficult emotions, doing so can allow you to be your true self. The more open and transparent you are, the more honest you are with yourself, the more you can build trust in yourself. Set and keep boundaries. The third strategy is to set and keep boundaries. By setting your own personal boundaries, you'll start to trust yourself more. Boundaries allow you to go through life in a way that keeps you feeling safe, secure, and respected. But boundaries alone are not enough. It is just as important to keep them. This is not always easy, so give yourself space to practice not only effective boundary setting but also boundary keeping. In order to get better at this, make sure you set and keep boundaries at work, at home, and in social situations. To make this easier, Communicate clearly and remember that your boundaries are in place to protect your self-trust and self-confidence. Be yourself. The fourth strategy is to be yourself. Once you've gone through the previous strategies, you'll have started to get a clearer sense of who you are and what you stand for. Once this becomes clear, be yourself at all times. Doing so will help you trust yourself again. Trying to be someone you are not will only erode your trust in yourself and shake your self-confidence. Being yourself will allow you to work to your strengths while still being open, honest, and vulnerable about your weaknesses, allowing you to work on them. To make this easier, seek out people who appreciate who you are and spend your time with others who are themselves. 
Listen to your intuition. The fifth and final strategy is to listen to your intuition. Consider your intuition as your gut feeling. Some researchers believe that intuition happens because your brain analyzes your past experiences, yourself, and your environment to rapidly come to a decision. By paying attention to your surroundings and environment and learning to listen to yourself, you can sharpen your intuition. And by listening and taking action on what your intuition is telling you, you will develop much more self-trust and self-confidence. As you've seen, self-trust and self-confidence, while different, are both very important for living a successful life. Both of these traits will allow you to move through the world confident in yourself and who you are as a person. By using the strategies outlined above, you'll begin to build a solid foundation of self-trust and self-confidence to navigate the world. Now the question today is this, which of these five strategies will you add to your life today to build your self-trust and self-confidence? Leave a comment below and Brian will be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember as Brian always says, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable, share it with your friends or for more resources on professional development, visit my website at briantracy.com. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now.